Jabes, Jabes, Jabes. You gotta hit those. I mean, it was a little bit of something. It wasn't amazing, but it was something. Oh, that was snappy. Oh, and I needed him too. Five bullets left. There's one. Another. Oh, no. If the other guy wasn't in the back, just chilling. I'll do. I'll do. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to some more beautiful Cold War sniping. But as you can tell, we are switching up the scope one more time on the Tundra because I've been seeing people using the 20 times zoom scope on Warzone with the M82 now. I don't know how good the Cold War sniper rifles are on Warzone. You'll have to let me know in the comments. I still haven't tried them. But if the bullet drop isn't that bad on the M82, then maybe that's why people are using it because you can zoom in so far. And because of that, I wanted to see what it was like in multiplayer. So today, folks, we are using the Ultra Zoom Custom. It starts off at two times magnification. And you can can basically zoom in as much or as little as you want and it goes all the way up to 20 times zoom. It's honestly just unbelievable. I feel like it's going to be kind of fun to use so hopefully you will enjoy. Drop a like if you haven't already. This video is sponsored by Astro Gaming though because a little later in the video we will be talking through and showing off the Astro A40 TR headset right here. It is my favorite headset of all time and I cannot wait to share more with you there but before that I think it's time to show off this scope right here. The 20 zoom sniper scope. Do you think it's going to be any good? Let's find out shall we? Well this might be a very nice map to show this off Honestly, two times to 20 zoom. That's 20. I can't bloody see. So a zoom all the way out. You see what two is. It's kind of like a red dot ACOG or whatever. But if you get a little bit of zoom on there, it's going to come in really handy. A certain situation. It's not all, you know, but it comes in handy here and there. And I think that's why it's going to be nice to try and run around with this and do some bits with it. So I would say, oh my God. Yep, there's a few around here. Kind of want to push. Our teammate's got him. Love that. Love that for the teammate. Although he's getting shot in the back, so I got you as well. It could be sporty there. They are sporty there. There's one of them. There's another. Teammates get shot in the back. Hit that with a nade real quick. Oh, they're pushing. Hit that one. There's another. Don't know where I should be attacking here. There's one. There's another. I hear footsteps. There's another. And another. Oh, went for the whippage. It's really hard to drag scope once you zoom, though. Really hard. I'm trying to back up. No. <laughs> That's just a really good example right there, though. Like, because I was so zoomed in, it's really hard for you to kind of... I just got rocketed. It's really... I got rocketed again. Oh, my God. Smells on a bish. But yeah, it's really hard to drag scope when you zoomed in. I don't know the sights behind it. My brain is pretty tired when it comes to stuff like that. But basically, is if you zoomed in. Come on. There we go. Love that. If you zoomed in, your movements aren't going to be as drastic, I guess. So when I'm scoped in, I'm trying to drag scope someone. And I really zoomed in. It takes forever to try and pull your shot across. So yeah, I don't recommend drag scoping too much with this uh, really zoomed in one. But you can drag scope a lot with obviously when it's like a two times. But yeah, as you can tell, it comes in quite handy. Oh my lord, that was close. And another. Another. I don't know where he is. I know where he is. Oh, whatever. Zoomed on him. Zoomed on him. No, oh, there's two looking at me. Where's the other guy? Oh my lord. I'll cap beef like all by myself. I'll do it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <gasps> guy didn't even know where I was. I've absolutely bamboozled him. Zoom in. Zoom in. Uh-oh. Oh, my lord. Ah, the streak is over. I was absolutely toying with him in the base. All right, they're definitely getting A here. I can't get there in time. That wasn't the guy, though, was it? Nope. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Oh, I'm feeling it, folks. I'm feeling it. I'm making it look good, you know. Oh, get them off me. I know they're going to be up here. Yeah, we're getting cracked. 
Feel it. Oh, the collapse. Is there another one? Can we shoot your teammate? Is he here? I've got him. Oh, oh. We need to get B though. B flag massacre. B flag massacre. He's got rocket launcher. A week. Oh, I've took it like a champ. I've Reload, my man. Reload. Reload. I've been boxed him. Oh. Who needs a team? Oh, the draw. 63 kills with this weird but wonderful gun. Two times to 20 times scope. It's magical. I love it. Could have had a clip here. I feel like I could have, but wow, some of that B work right there, folks. Come on. Quick intermission, though, folks. Like I said earlier, this video is sponsored by Astro Gaming, so we're going to be talking through unboxing this beauty right here, the Astro A40 TR headset with the Mixam Pro TR. So the beauty of the A40 TR headset is that straight out of the box, it comes fine-tuned for gaming. Astro tunes all of their products for that premium gaming audio experience, but still give you the tools to adjust that even further for whatever your needs by using the Astro Command Center. The A40 TRs use Astro Audio. Audio V2, meaning the audio drivers have been retuned to maximize the way the mix amp provides Dolby Audio to deliver immersive spatial surround sound, offering a premium gaming audio experience. I've been playing Call of Duty for so many years now, and hearing footsteps and character movement and even gunshots has never been more crucial to stay alive and streak up. But even with the incredible sound quality that's packed inside these, it's still truly a comfortable and lightweight headset. I wear this headset for hours on end, and honestly, it causes no discomfort or irritation. It just pleasantly sits there and I love it. So whether it's the padded cushions on the inside or the adjustable features or just the cables you use, you can tell it is built to last with its premium quality materials. I remember having my original Astro Wave 40s back in 2014 and I used those for over two years before I even thought about upgrading and then I still waited a little bit longer just because I knew I could. For me, the most appealing feature to the A40 TR headset and the Mixamp Pro TR bundle is the ability to mix PC and console audio into the same headset. I couldn't imagine gaming on console now without the option of hearing the extra layer of audio from a computer. If you're like myself and you just love to game while having the ability to listen to music or calls or streams or videos, whatever it may be, if you like to just game alongside those, this combo is ideal for you. So whether I'm last alive in a 1v2 and I need to crank that game audio up, or I'm just sat waiting in the pregame and I'd prefer to hear my squad's voices louder than the lobby music, by using the mix amp dial, I can easily switch those audio levels up on the fly. Lastly, and which has been so ideal for me, is that the mix amp Pro TR is a next-gen compatible. So if you're on Xbox Series S or X, update your mix amp to the latest firmware by using the Astro Command Center. And after that, it's as simple as plugging it in by USB. This will enable that full feature compatibility for that much needed game and voice audio balance. If you're on PlayStation 5 like myself, you'll notice sadly there's no optical port on the back. But luckily Astro have created a gem that allows me to use my favorite headset on my brand new console. We can now use Astro's HDMI adapter which creates an optical connection from our console to our Mixamp Pro TR, which gives us that full feature compatibility again. The Astro A40 TR has literally been my favorite headset for years, and now with the Mixamp Pro TR alongside it, well, that's just the cherry on the top. So that is the Astro A40 TR headset and Mixamp Pro TR in a nutshell, basically. So if you're looking for a new headset or just an upgrade, I would highly recommend the A40. So I'll have a link in the description for you all to check that out. And if you do end up picking something up from the Astro website, be sure to use code SPRAT on checkout for 5% off, and hopefully you all enjoy you goodies. With that being said though, let's get back into the gameplay. Hopefully you're all enjoying the 20 zoom sniper scope. It's kind of fun to use, you know. Oh, I could have had that. It was so close. Oh my god. They just got it. They just got it. They just got it.
There's one more, I think, over here. Collateral. Got a bullet left, apparently. Get my tib. Got more of them. Oh, I could wait for the wrong guy. Got him. UAV. Reload. Let's go. Run it. Surprise. Surprise. Artillery. Oh my god. It tells you when you can't even get away.